Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Um... The Harbinger was on its way to Telos? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Um... How, do you, how did you know I was about the Harbinger? Can you explain how you tracked me down? You were difficult no. to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown mm. to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Um... I come I don't remember any of this. That's an usual set of coincidences. Whatever occurred on board mm. the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Paragus. T3! That was the tutorial right at the game. Be beginning. silent. We're having a conversation here. Don't be rude to my droid. T3 is my buddy. He says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus. Repaired this ship? My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get! Rude. Um. <sighs> so why are these Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Um. <laughs> Some of these evil voice lines are super tempting. The next time someone calls me a Jedi, they'll be lying in a pool with their own blood. Um. Alright, I am not a Jedi any, not any longer, but I was exiled from Jedi longer uh, from the Jedi Order. But I was exiled. exiled. not. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. Um. But last of the Jedi, that can't be true. What happened to the Jedi? The Jedi Order can't be gone. But last the, the Jedi, Jedi that Civil can't War be true. destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantooine in Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. Um, if any survivors still live, we need to warn Perhaps, them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Then how do we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Um, if we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. They're eager to fight us, so we fight back. So what do you think we should do? Um, if we don't stop them, they're going to Look, keep coming. enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Um. Uh, what do you mean? You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? 
Um, Red Lemon was one of my choice. He used to threaten me, then they would die. This is self defense, not war. We must stop them, there's no other option. Mandy, uh, the Mandalorian Wars were my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Um, if evil is not fought, then we sacrifice the galaxy. <laughs> We're going to save the galaxy. Echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn, but we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. Um... You're right, she may need help. Can you handle things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. Um, I'll make you say I that. think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. Um, what are you talking are about? Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean, a very strong, manly <laughs> Minoc. I think she's just too proud to show any weakness, especially in front of you. Huh. That's odd. In case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me, but she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. What you think matters to her, a lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, we haven't got much else to do until Telos. When did you get sensitive? Oh, don't give me that. All it takes is being around people enough to read them. You should try it sometime. Um... I'll go check on her then. Last set points gained! Let's go talk to Kraya, shall we? Why is everyone hurt? Why is T3 and Adam hurt? Did they carry over the damage from when we were in fighting the Sith Assassins? They must have. Um, where's Kraya again? It's been so long since I've played, I don't remember where anyone is. Everyone has like a room on the ship. I don't want to leave the other walk. I think she's in the cargo hold. I think she's in here. No? There she is. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. Um. When you lost your hand, I felt it to your hand. Is there anything I can do? This wound is a physical thing and will fade with time. It was necessary. Some things may only be learned from sacrifice. Um. If I could, I would have protected save you. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. Um... Let's see, looks to me like you're the one who needs help. Seems to me you need to learn to listen. Uh, if we travel together, then we need to work together. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. And what if you had died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. More extreme. I felt like my hand was dipped in molten carbonite. Or would it have been lethal or light? 
what consequence is death? Um, would it have been Possibly, lethal? Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Um, what can we do? I don't want my actions to place you at risk. <laughs> You're age, you could die any moment. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't when battle is risk. upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. Um, I've never heard of a link like this before. Oh, I have, wait. Sorry, I got confused because the, the wording is weird. I have never heard of a link like this before in Holocrons or in the Jedi histories. Oh, now I get it. Now it makes sense. My brain didn't I confess read its that nature correctly for some me reason. As well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. You and Kreia possess force chain special ability. When either of you use a force power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as a well. A powerful technique indeed. Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. Um... So what do we do now? I need to know more about Sith hunting us. When we were on Paragus, I, feel, I could feel the force again. Could you, can you tell me what happened since Mandalorian Wars? Let's go with that one. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. Um, I want to know about Revan and Malak. As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandalorians, and you followed under Revan's banner. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Um, didn't the Jedi order to try and stop them? What happened next? And that was the Jedi Civil War. Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. Um... How are Malak and the Sith defeated? What happened to Malak? How are As all Sith do, without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. Um. But what happened to Revan? After defeating Malak, Revan left the Republic, and there are none who know where he has gone. It is said that the Sith remnants turned on themselves after Revan defeated Malak, reducing Korriban to ruin as the Republic still bleeds and struggles for life. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. Um... So Revan saved the Republic? It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Um... And we must do what we can until it has a chance to recover from the war. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves, or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. How can anything be done to help the Republic? <laughs> Let them burn! No, we, we are good. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. 
Entire planets were decimated, their inhabitants dead or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. The threat is directed against me. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. Hmm. This is what's taken at once, and he's not. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Um. <laughs> uh, the fool has a name, I'd like to start using it. He's not a fool, but he does feel odd to me and isn't so bad. Just, well, maybe he is. I'll crack his skull into the bulkhead if he tries. Um. He's not a fool, but he does feel odd to me. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. Lost influence of the prayer. Gained lifetime points. Go check on Atten. See how he's doing. That's the end of the room. At this this way. How's our passenger? She's still aging. Um, for someone without much to say, she sure says a lot. Um, cryptic as always. She seems fine. Just needs some rest. Well, she sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good-looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Good-looking, are you that desperate? If she looks good to you, you must have taken the last hit when I wasn't looking. Hard living? Yeah. Her face looks like it was plowed by crazed Ord Mantell farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. Um. Look, he's off the insult. She was wounded helping us escape, remember? Whoa, all right, all right. Don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Let's just, let's focus on getting to tell us the time Like, being. we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Alright, I'll do that. So, what happened? Uh... What? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Um, exiles aren't allowed to keep their lightsabers. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Single hilt. Huh, <laughs> figures. It wasn't red, was it? Um... Both the blade and the crystal were unique. Yeah? Unique how? Um... It was green! Must have been something. It sure be nice to have it now. Might make those sit think twice before coming after us. I got Jin. Liam Neeson's green lightsaber. 
Um, it doesn't matter. It was taken from me long ago. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. I was going to do that before you interrupted me. Light side points gained. How is our light side going, actually? Are we... Oh, we, we've got the... The proud upward look pose. We're getting there. We're heading towards the light side. Galaxy map. Telos Sizzle Station. We'll head there. Fly our way in. Getting the arrogant look, it seems a bit dark side to me. No, the dark side look is looking down and being like super angry. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like that the is sound all. Of that. If they think we caused the explosion, uh oh, here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Grant, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Well, rip, they know. <laughs> um, are we under arrest? We didn't have anything to do with that. How long will this take? Are we under arrest? You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you I will get, be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Um, will I be able to get my gear back? I understand. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Um, I do. I'll cooperate. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. We're going to jail again, Atten. Hello there. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. <laughs> We're in a cell. Um... Wait, I have to I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Word. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Might as well sit down, meditate, chill out, have Someone a good time. Is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. Uh, you're wrong, I'm no Jedi. What's going on? You're wrong, I am no Jedi. Well, what's going on? What's going on? The exchange on? is a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No wow. Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. 
Um, we're in a TSS station. How do you expect to get away with this? Why are you here? Let's get this over with. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Hmm. Your body's staying right here. Uh, I don't wish to fight Easier you. Easier for me then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. It hey, time leave him alone. Die. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Alright. You're seriously gonna... The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. He just lets into the all three cage. of them out. Cooperate, and He's we won't one person. have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Ram? Um... He said he was an assassin. No, he is an assassin. It's a good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Um, impressive. You'll have an assassin in your rings. He said he was an assassin. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. Um, has he managed to sneak in here? What's going to happen now? I'm glad someone noticed that only after he tried to kill me. Uh, what's going to happen We've now? arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be okay. under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Alright, uh, great, another investigation. Let's go! Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. They faded out of existence. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? <laughs> no. Uh, how long will I be here? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, We'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. Alright. Uh, this isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Uh, why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragas? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. What do you think, Kraya? We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Rest. 